Well, well, well. Man, oh man. It finally happened. I can now say with full confidence that Blinks the Time Sweeper is most likely playable on emulation. So I woke up today and like any reasonable human being, I checked the Blinks Discord and I saw that there was a recent update with Zemu that actually fixed probably about 99% of all the graphical glitches, mostly the texture slash geometry glitches that was happening. So uh, in the past, Blinks on Zemu was very slow and had huge graphical issues that made it basically unplayable. Even the fastest computers couldn't run the game, that's how bad it was. Fast forward to around July or August of 2021 and Zemu got a huge update that boosted a lot of the original Xbox games to a playable state. Blinks speed increased dramatically. The game was running anywhere between 5 to 25 frames per second before the update. Now it ran at 23 to 30 frames per second, almost identical to the speed of a base Xbox One. But the problem with the graphical glitches still persisted, but it at least made the game more playable. As time went on, Zemu got small updates that didn't really impact Blinks all that much, but it was only a matter of time until those issues were fixed. It was all about being patient. And that patience has paid off. Because of April of 2022, the graphical issues were fixed in all of the levels. This is a big step and it's probably going to allow more people to experience uh, Blinks on PC. Because at the moment, the only real way to play Blinks is on an Xbox console and the cloud, but no one really gives a shit about the cloud. Giving people the option to play on an emulator is actually fantastic. This isn't just a fix for Blinks 1. It also fixes the graphical issues of Blinks 2 on emulation as well. Now if anyone knows about Blinks 2 emulation, you'll know that it looks like absolute arse. Those graphical glitches were absolutely insane. I believe the speed of the game was also increased, but the hardest thing about running the game was looking at it with your own eyes. As I'm writing the script, I haven't tested it out, but the screenshots on Discord look promising. The performance of the games will highly depend on the current CPU that you have on your PC. I have a Ryzen 5 5600X that runs blinks like my Xbox One. The one I had before, the Ryzen 5 1600AF, it wasn't the worst when running blinks but definitely struggled later in the game. Especially when you have recording slash live streaming software running at the same time, so people with lower end to mid range CPUs might have a tough time with performance. I believe single core clock speed matters a bit so having a CPU with a high clock speed is favourable. The only real way to see if blinks runs well on your system is to really test it out for yourself because at the end of the day, we simply just don't have enough data to determine what's good and what isn't. Now, bringing it back to Blinks 2 for a minute, it's actually nice that there's progress on Zemu happening as we speak. For Blinks 1, you could definitely make an argument that we don't need to emulate the game because of the options that we have, but with Blinks 2, you don't really have that same luxury. That game only runs on the original Xbox and the 360, and nobody wants to play on the 360 because of the performance is not ideal. I mean, for God's sakes, the whole Discord was literally pogging out of their skulls when the emulator surpassed the performance of the 360 for Blinks 1. It'd be really funny if out of nowhere if Microsoft released Blinks 2 for backwards compatibility. But anyway, here's what happened. Zemu got an update, Blinks 1 and 2's graphical glitches were fix, which means it's probably the best time from here onwards to play it, and it's probably going to get even better for the future. I'm super excited to do some more testing to show everyone. It's like we're almost at the golden age of Blink's emulation. We're almost there. And uh, going off script for a second, I just want to say that I'm quite surprised. I really did not expect this to come out so quickly. The last video that I did on Blink's emulation was in November of 2021. It was like six months later, and where like the progress that we've made on both games, even Blinks 2, is absolutely crazy. Even if you need like a high-end sort of system, like or like a high-end sort of CPU to run it, I would say that it's a matter of time before uh, the performance for it gets a lot better. So anyway, Blinks Zemu videos will be coming uh, soon. This has been uh, your boy. I'll see you later.